Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer from Allagash, and this is an interesting one. We generally perceive Allagash to be a uh, Belgian-style uh, Belgian brewery, and actually, you could might as well call them Allagash White Brewery, because the numbers might have changed, but 80% of the production of Allagash is, you guessed it, Allagash White. So, uh, almost all the beer they produce is Allagash White, and there's some here, uh, beers here and there, and this is one of those. This is Pictavia. So, this is a 9.3% Scotch Ale, uh, aged in Scotch barrels for two months. And why would they do a Scotch Ale? Well, actually, one of the first beers that they brewed, or the first batches of beer they brewed, included Allagash White. And 20 years later, we know where Allagash White has gotten, dominating the um, Belgian Vit beer in craft beer market. But they also brewed a Scotch Ale back then, so now they're bringing that recipe back. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. Uh, this is actually brewed with a Belgian Abbey strain and then aged in Scotch barrels. But there is some connection between Belgian and Sc uh, Scottish brewing. I mean, there are breweries like um, La, uh, La Chouf, which, is pr pr which produces Mixchouf, which is like a malty kind of Scottish style beer. And then actually, from what I understand, the origins of the Duval um, yeast strain is actually a Scottish ale strain fermented at higher temperatures. So uh, pretty interesting stuff, but let's dig into this one. It's really interesting that Allagash producing like producing a barrel aged malt heavy beer. So huh. let's see how this one turns out. Ooh, okay. Is that yeasty? It comes in this kind of deep amber color, a little bit of mahogany, but it has like a really deep reddish hue to it. I would have expected something a little bit more brown, but really has a lot of red coming through. So it comes in a deep amber to light brown color. Um, but yeah, very reddish, huh? Very nice looking beer. Has a lightly tan yellowish kind of head to it. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm. Yeah, that smells familiar. It's rich maltiness. It's uh, dr lots of dried dates. There's a rich woodiness coming in. The Scotch barrel is definitely very obvious. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting a good amount of the barrel character. Not quite sure it's really Scotch barrel, but it's woody. So it's very woody. And it's not that boozy, so it doesn't uh, exactly smell like bourbon. So they definitely got uh, oh, wow, a lot of dark cherry. I'm getting the bright red cherries. Woodiness, deep amounts of kind of breadiness, biscuity tones. Caramel sugar as well. Oh, yeah, quite nice nose. Cheers. Okay, so for 9.3%, first off, this beer is not that sweet. It is dominated by oak tannins and dryness and hoppy, woody, bitter notes, or possibly the wood is coming through, but mm -hmm. up front, there's a touch of vanilla. There's a little bit of a tart tone coming th uh, through as well. The malt shows a little bit of bready biscuity thing. Yeah, a little bit of kind of like fruitcake kind of action. And then like a third of the way half palate and boom, it's dry, it's oak tannins, it's bitterness, hot bitterness. Hmm. Alcohol shows up a little bit, warms its way down. Yeah, this beer has malt a bit up front. I mean, it's, it is a multi beer. Some amount of malt up front, medium amounts of that, medium plus amounts of that, dried fruit, and then it's just boom, smack with just tannins, dry, wood, oak. Um, wow. Yeah, it just drives with wood wood and hoppiness all the way through. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, I really thought this would be a little bit more rich, decadent, a little bit more sweet, a little bit more, I hate to use the word bounce, but have a little bit more malt to really counteract the amount of dryness the spear has, but I don't know if that's what they were aiming with this one. With the Scotch Barrel, I wouldn't say it has any kind of like uh, what you perceive to be like Isla, so anything that smokiness, phenol kind of thing, but it's just so woody. Um, dry. Yeah, I don't know. It's, a, it's not my cup of tea. I really expected something a little bit more spirit forward and then also something a little bit more rich in malt. This is just like wood and bitterness dominate, uh, dominating beer. It all, you know what it almost tastes like? It almost tastes like barrel-aged American barley wine. I just realized that. But with very little spirit character. Again, really they're pulling out oak tan, uh, wood tannins out of the beer, with uh, out of the barrel, with a very, very, very little spirit con uh, uh, contribution. Yeah, very little spirit contribution. Interesting. Um, as for rating, I don't know, these kind of beers are not my cup of tea. Um, the, well made. Let's go into 84 in this one. Eighty-two. Algash Pictavia. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think. Later.